Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with the theory of intelligence given by Charles Spearman in the year 1904. He proposed his two factor theory on the basis of statistical procedure called factor analysis. You know what I think intelligence is? It is not enough to have a good mind. The main thing is how you use it. Think over it and we will discuss it later. Okay, let's start with two factor theory of intelligence. What are these two factors? One is G factor, the other is S factor. G factor, S factor. G factor stands for general intelligence, general mental energy. It is that mental capacity that you use in almost all your daily life activities. General mental ability is basically your common sense that you have to use it so that you can understand your world around you. For example, I am teaching you something, you are acquiring it, you are learning it. This, this is cognitive activity going on. You are learning how to drive, you are learning how to swim. Again, cognitive activity is going on. You are learning how to have decision making skills. You are going to buy something, but you are not able to understand why I should buy, why, should, why I should not buy this. You are engaging in decision making skills. Again, this is, this is basically cognitive ability. This is your cognitive skills that are that you are engaged in right on. So all these activities, all these cognitive abilities, they have G factor. This is G factor. This is your general intelligence that you have to use so that you can learn, so that you can understand the complex objects, the complex things, the complex ideas around you. So this is G factor. Now from where this G factor originated. So Spearman when he was experimenting, when he was doing tests, when he was trying to gather evidence of this theory, he concluded, he observed that when students, when they are given a test, students their score, if they perform well on one test, they tend to perform well on others and vice versa. It means Students who score poor on one test, they tend to score poor on the other test. It means there has to be one single factor. It means there has to be one common factor that is used in almost all the cognitive abilities. It means that one central factor influences our cognitive capacities. That one G factor, that one factor is called G factor according to Spearman, he coined this G factor. That one common factor that is used in all the activities. That is used in almost all the cognitive abilities. Cognitive abilities I have already explained. Okay, So let's understand its characteristics. It is universal. It is universal means it is present in you, it is present in me, it is present in everyone. We all use G factor, we all have G factor. It is innate, it is present right at the time of birth, but we use it slowly and gradually. Depends upon our age. So it is universal, it is innate, inborn ability. It varies from individual to individual. You, we all have G factor, but we vary, but we vary in this G factor. Student, students, when you are given a test, your scores are different. If 40 students, they are being taken, they are given a test, uh, student A scores some uh, score of 80, student B scores score of 50, sc student C scores score of uh, uh, say 70. It means their scores differ. Why? Because of this G factor. G factor accounts for your individual differences. This is a G factor, that's why we all differ in our abilities. We all behave differently in, in different situations. We all behave differently because of this G factor. Because it varies from individual to individual. My G factor is different, your G factor will be different. We all have, but we possess it in varying degrees. 
it is used in everyday activities we do indulge in uh, this cognitive abilities we do indulge in uh, g factor why and how because we we have to use knowledge we have to use logic we have to engage in problem solving skills we have to use the decision making skills we have to process information we have to evaluate information we have to associate lots of things so it is this g factor is involved in this so d g factor is used in almost all our daily life activities it is it is a common thread that runs through all your daily life activities greater the g factor greater the success for example persons who possess high level of g intelligence how, the persons who possess high level of this general mental ability they acquire the job faster they acquire their skills faster and thus they can achieve success in their job in their life and like everything okay these are the characteristics of g factor now we come to our s factor s factor is specific ability specific talent that you possess and again it differs because your s factor is different my s factor will be different specific interests that you have specific tastes that that you have this is specific factor let's come to our characteristics it is learned and acquired it is not like g factor with your experiences with your exposure in life you tend to know you tend to understand that see i have a particular interest in this i can do well in this subject i can do well in this field so you possess you 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 get to know your interest and then your specific ability it it comes to uh it you tend to know your specific ability in this it can be strengthened again when you come to know that this is my specific ability when you tend to know that this is this is something that i can do well for example you think that you are uh, you have interest in cooking you have interest in culinary skills you tend to know your uh, uh, you you come to this conclusion that see i have to make my career in this then what you do you join some institution renowned institution you take guidance from experts so with the help of their training with the help of their guidance with the help of their support you become a renowned chef so in this way we can say that this specific ability can be strengthened it is learned and acquired in the environment with your experiences with your uh, uh, with your um, with on different platforms you tend to know that this is my field i am best in this and i have to do something in this field i want to make a career in this field and then you strengthen your specific ability with the guidance with the support with experts with the help of with the help of experts then it varies from activity to activity in the same individual it varies from activity to activity in the same individual for example your person a you are having a specific ability of say you can compose music very well but it doesn't mean that you can that you can dance very well you can write poetry very well no it is not compulsory you it it varies from activity to i am good in this but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean i am good in all the skills it doesn't mean i am good in all the specific ability it is not important it varies from activity to activity in the same individual and then it varies from individual to individual it very simple i'm good in this but my sister she is a professional volleyball player my father he is a specialized heart surgeon my mother she is a chef so it varies from individual to individual this is what we mean by s factor g factor and s factor now you can see this uh, diagram g and s in center you can see g and this overlapping s it means g factor is used in all the abilities a doctor now what happens is he has to have g factor so that he can learn tasks whatever whatever knowledge he possess it is because of g factor but what makes him specialized what makes him distinctive it's because of his s factor so in in any in any task both g and s are required but g factor has to be there 
G factor is that central factor that that influences your cognitive abilities. This is what we mean by G factor and S factor. This is what we mean by two factor theory given by Charles Peoman in the year 1904. Hope you understand and please stay tuned to my channel to my videos because I will be talking about the important questions that can come from this theory and further. So please pay attention, do well in your studies and all the best. Thank you.